Valentine's Day is coming up in February, people. 2017. They which means Fifty Shades Darker. Oh, I'm excited. If you love Fifty Shades of Grey. Which I did. Which I so did. I loved that it. That was not Great. boring. It was so sexy. It wasn't not very BDSM-y at all. I, I, I had such... I didn't struggle to stay awake. Well, it uh, looks like that um, Anastasia is entering back into the abusive relationship with Christian. In Fifty Shades Darker, they got a new director here, new writer. Um, before we talk more about that, let's just watch the actual trailer. All right. Universal Studios. I mean, I love this. It's Universal. <laughs> oh, look. He's alone during a celebration. Okay. Ha! Okay. Fuck that last movie. <laughs> this movie. Intrigued. Yes. You got me looking so crazy. Yeah, fuck Beyonce's voice. They replaced everything with demons. I had no idea what this was going to become. See how this can work. You're just gonna stand there gawking? Yes. You got me looking. Oh! That's kinda hot. What do you want, Anastasia? This time, no rules, no punishments, and no more secrets. Looking so crazy in love. Got me looking, got me looking so crazy in love. This is a ghost. Baby, you got me. Uh. Uh. You got me. Uh. You got me. Bass singer. Whoa. Do you think you're the first woman who's tried to save him? No. Thanks, Miguel. Thanks, Miguel. Cheers, brother. Hmm. Now I know that fans of Fifty Shades of Grey are huge fans of the real rejects. Totally, we are the total target demographic. The first half of this trailer looked like this is the exact same thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just with a different context. Yeah. We're gonna do a do-over. Yeah, we're just gonna try it again. Just exclude a few things. <laughs> Listen, Chris, maybe you change. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. The cinematography still looks good. Yeah, uh, that shower looks, scene looks sexy. It still looks swanky as hell. I like that shower scene. Something tells me that this time around they might have more chemistry, given the benefit of the doubt. Uh, Granted, we don't really get much in I the trailer in to, trailer. to really determine that. I just feel like they might have taken note of that. These are two talented actors. I see pretty images of pretty people. I don't see chemistry just yet. Well, look how happy they look in bed here. They don't... They're barely making facial expressions. John, please. I I'm mean, trying to be look, nice to the movie. I, <laughs> At the same time, it looks like it want to be. It wants to be like eyes wide shut or something. Yeah, which like, is why I wish they would just go full eyes wide shut with this. Like if they did that, like I would, I would almost be pleased. They just threw down because that was my just part of the trouble with the first movie. Is like the first. It half assed. Yeah, I just didn't, didn't even half ass. It was like a quarter of an ass in that movie. Yeah. yeah, and I have friends who are who are into you know uh, BDSM and stuff no, like that. John and members is definitely of the community. friends with those guys. And like it he just a freak. didn't seem like it was in any way involved with that community. Really, like I don't know. Like, well, you see, the thing about okay, the only sex scene we we they tease here is the shower scene. What I liked about how that shower scene, at least they were showing us the brief images of it. Was did it look like they were trying to go for like crazy cinematic sex scene 
as opposed to what uh, like the other one did with its like <laughs> non sexy montage of like weird imaging. Yeah, yeah, like over Beyonce's crazy in love slow rendition. They're weird like uh, 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 soft core like montagery. Yeah, this looks like they have these two actors just get in the shower and start like going for it. These movies are conundrums to me because you have to throw down on the sex in these movies, and I don't feel like they are free to do that. Completely well, like this one looks like I I haven't read the book. I'm not going to read the book. I'm not read the book. <laughs> um, like the last thirty seconds were like, whoa! I guess this is a thriller now. Like like as I know, like yeah. the first one is advertised as an erotic thriller that's about these two. Now it seems like there's a much bigger thing at play here. Well, I get yeah. what they're doing, but at the same time, like you know, part of this I was like, is this like a ghost movie? <laughs> that girl shows up in the bedroom, and I'm like, is she really there? Is and then she just, just vanishes. <laughs> and it's, yeah, it's probably just some kind of like you know metaphoric hallucination. Yeah, that girl was, wasn't that the same girl who was saying that she, uh, you know, she's the, she like Anastasia's not the only one who tried to change Christian. Yeah, or that something she like was, that. She was implying that she was that person too. I couldn't tell. Is Kim that. Basinger playing? Because I remember in the movie. He talked about how like an older woman yeah. was his uh, dominant. Do you think that's Kim Basinger? It could be. It could be. I mean, why else would you cast somebody with a name? Like I mean, that? I think Kim Basinger is a good addition to this to this movie because I, I think Kim Basinger is like good at those like kind of sexy erotic thriller kind of roles. Yeah, I, I hope her presence is a sign that this will be better and not a sign that you know. This was the only role she could get right now. I mean, this director has done some pretty credible work. Um, yeah, that's he what did I'm... a perfect stranger. Okay. Bruce Willis, Halle Berry. Yeah. Good movie. Perfect. Movie. Everyone loved it. Perfect Everyone loved film. it. He did a shit film called Glenn Gary Glenn Ross, though. Oh yeah, fuck. Worst this. ensemble, worst Pacino, Jack Lemmon performance. A B C. <sighs> Ass black cunts. Totally. That's what that means. And then they had to change it because they didn't want to get that <laughs> NC-17 or They cleaned house on their creatives and they went with uh, two dudes. Two yeah, dudes that's right. They, yeah, they had this director, J uh, James Foley. I love Glenn Gary Glenn Ross. Mm -hmm. That was like 25 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But he did a lot of House of Cards. He seems to be one of the main directors for House of Cards. People that's, love a House of Cards. Wild, that's a really widely respected show. Beautifully shot show as well. If they take notes of you know, the disappointment factors of everything that, like, people were not happy with. I don't even remember fans of the book being satisfied with the movie. Well, yeah, and I, I saw the movie, and it's like, I didn't hate it, but it was like, it was just, everything was just kind of all right, and then some stuff was, was unintentionally funny. And it just kind of came across as one of those experiences where you didn't understand what all the fuss was about. So I hope that they bring some fuss into this. In this trailer, what, I guess, if I were to say the things that appealed to me were the last 30 seconds. People getting taken away in the cars and someone chasing after them and something like someone stalking them. When it looks like, like something more is going to happen than just them going, Christian, I can save you. And him going, no, I'm fucked up. No, yeah. but you're fucked up. But I'm not fucked up. Okay, you're not fucked up, but I am. Because the first like minute of this trailer was showing us that like, okay, they're going to get back together and they're going to try it again. And they're not going to be as crazy abusive about it. I hope this film capitalizes more on that. Because I feel like a film from Universal Pictures that wants to appeal to the masses, they're not going to go full hard R with it with the erotic part of this movie. But they have to. They have to, but I just I just don't see them doing that. They have to make up with it with something else. Or I feel like there's studio execs doubting themselves, being like, oh, the erotic stuff didn't work, so we should just try something else instead of trying to make the erotic stuff work. It would be cool if, if it all works. In the end, yeah, I'm I mean, probably going to watch this movie. Twilight comes to mind. I've seen every Twilight movie in the theaters. Really? I've seen every single Twilight movie. I'm probably gonna watch this too because I just gotta find out like what the deal is. <laughs> this is yeah. one of those morbid curiosity <laughs> movies for me. Like I, I went to see the first one. I was like, I am going. I made the decision because I'm like, this is not for me. And for some reason, that makes me curious. <laughs> like I want to see what everybody's freaking out about. I want to see because they changed the writer up. They changed the director. And I'm hoping that allows them to take it in a different kind of direction. I remember even the author wasn't satisfied with the way the movie came out, the first one. See, I feel and like these movies are kind of doomed to be uh, not entirely satisfying. I hope they can make up for the stuff they can't put into this by making the story better and for giving us, you know, a thriller of some kind, like an erotic thriller. Because that seems like a thing that, that is coming back a little bit, but it's not like what we get all the time. So like a good erotic thriller might be fun to do again, you know, because it's been a while since Michael Douglas stepped on screen. Dr. Hank Pimp. Hank Pimp. <laughs>
It's in the porn version of Ant-Man. I'm a little bummed just from a progress standpoint that they completely cleaned house and got new dudes to, to do this. Two dudes to helm this? Because that's a little strange to me. Two dudes? I mean, it's going to be way more womanizing. Yeah, that's what I'm a little bit afraid of. But also, it's like, you know, they took this thing that is a debatable book already about, you know, what are the connotations of this book? What are the, the sort of roles everybody's playing? Is this kind of an abusive situation? You yeah. know, and they let women handle that. It's got a predominantly female audience. A lot of women read this book. And I feel like it's a little bit weird to put it in the hands of two older gentlemen. Because especially if we're gonna make it any better, like it might become more thrilling, like like I said, it might become more of a thriller, but I don't know if it'll become any better of a movie. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's going down a rock thriller, it seems like it's going down conspiracy thriller. Almost. That was the whole draw of Fifty Shades of Grey. Mm -hmm. Was like this couple exploring the BDSM world, uh, you know, the dominant submissive world. That was the intrigue. Now this trailer doesn't even seem to have any of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, it's like, it's the <laughs> indulgence in an abusive situation and, and also the taboo of bondage. And I don't really give a shit enough about these characters to find, to like really yeah. feel like, I gotta clock in to see what the hell's going on underneath this whole conspiracy of all this other shit of Christian's past that yeah. never really quite intrigued me anyway. Well, Saying stuff like at the beginning of the trailer, forget the past. I don't even know what that's supposed to mean in this trailer. I feel like that just means forget the last movie. <laughs> I feel like that literally means, hey, that movie, that that, that a lot of people didn't really care for well. We were doing it all over again, totally different. I mean, I feel like this Anastasia character is kind of insulting to women, <laughs> to be perfectly this honest. This whole thing is kind of insulting. <laughs> I mean, like, I again, I haven't read the book and I don't plan on reading the book, but I know a lot of people who have and, and they don't have very kind things to say. It's this woman running after this guy because she wants to change him. And the thing is, I, I've heard over the three book arc, it's basically about a woman taking this guy who's heavily into this uh, alternative lifestyle and just basically making him a normal guy who settles down. <laughs> really? So it's like a totally conventional story too about an abusive relationship. But I know I mean, women to be into this because of how fucking sexy the book is. Hey, that's and fair. how like, uh, like how there's like erotica in the book. Like there's detailed descriptions of their sexual activity in the book. I don't know anything about those other like thriller storyline shit. When I hear this, I'm just like, man, when I meet a girl in real life who's in an abusive relationship, like a beautiful girl in an abusive relationship and she's trying to change the guy, but that's impossible. <laughs> she's not going to change the guy. Like it's just, hey, if you're a woman who happens to be watching this, <laughs> who's in a situation like that, it's not gonna happen vice versa as well, because sometimes it's kind of reverse. This idea that like, oh yeah, if he, if she see, oh, they, they fall in love and then she could change him, like, what? How are people still on board for that? Like, it's, yeah. it's fucked up. I mean, this is how women get in abusive relationships. And that's the thing, is like, I, I get the, the, the titillating factor in, if you're reading those books, there's something juicy about reading about a toxic situation. It's a forbidden fantasy. It's, it's a, it's an arousing sexual fantasy. And I can see see why somebody might want to read that and if they, you know, understand it the right way, it's fine. But I feel like this just should have stayed a book because when you make it into a movie, you have certain responsibilities. It doesn't seem like they can translate this either true to what it is or make it any any much better than what it is. It seems yeah. like they're locked in the middle of like, we kind of have to approximate Fifty Shades of Grey, but we can't put too much sex in it and we can't make it too, we can't make a statement with this movie. And it seems so like, what can you make out of it? And this? it seems like the whole point of what makes Anastasia so drawn to Christian is the sexual undertones is yeah. they can feel that, that like lust and that and then the lust isn't described in great detail mm -hmm. in the book yeah. as, especially when they're like fucking each other here when I watch the movie or you just, I haven't seen Fifty Shades Darker yet I think if we're gonna watch a movie about a toxic relationship <laughs> I like there to be some part of me that's like I can kind of see why she's involved <laughs> you know, yeah you know? and the thing about the first movie was like the, I saw the first movie and it was like the first half hour went by and I was like okay I get the situation and then there was a whole other hour where we're just waiting for her to reach the conclusion she finally reaches by the end of it like the movie ends and I, I've heard they changed the ending from the book a little bit where she just kind of leaves She's just yeah. like, yeah, this situation isn't good for me. I'm leaving. That's probably the best way you could have ended that. So I'm almost kind of bummed that they have to make another one. Because, yeah, the first movie just seems like a whole lot of time and effort spent 
for this woman to finally figure out, oh yeah, I shouldn't be around this guy. Yeah, I don't know why they're like masculine, making this all masculine. They're like, they changed Beyonce to, this, to Miguel. Now, yeah. They got a male director, a male writer. Like, it's, I just don't see it as working out, honestly. I'm, I'm not the kind of viewer who typically goes into a movie like, okay, prove it to me. Like, you have to win me over. I kind of feel this like about this movie the same way I would feel about Christian Grey crawling back to me. I'm like, you better fucking prove that this is worth yeah. it because I don't think it is. <laughs> yeah, and right now it just seems like he's the same exact dude. Yeah, he looks the same. He, like, he looks, he, behaves, his demeanor, he talk, like, everything about him seems like he's exactly the same guy. And hey, there's probably more context in the movie. Like, it's just a trailer, but I get the same vibe off of most everything in this trailer, and I don't get that interesting of a vibe above or below the line. Like, the first movie played to me fine with some laughs. This trailer starts off with saying, forget the past and the tagline, and then they proceed to show us a trailer that's very reminiscent of the past <laughs> the whole time. I don't know. I don't want to just bitch about this movie. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, this isn't for us. And, you know, I doubt it, it matches our taste or that we'd like it. We didn't read the book. We're not fans. So, like, if you're really into this, what do you think, you know? Yeah. If you're a Fifty Shades of Grey fan, if I could tell, tell us what your thoughts are. I'm not objecting against the book. I'm not judging the book I've at all. I've read of it. <laughs> I, I'm not judging not the book at all. I'm, I'm, ju I'm strictly judging the film's context and, and what I've seen so far. Yeah. Um, anyway. If you like this video, you can subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, John, Twitter handle and Instagram, Reasons to Jerry. So much to promote about you. It's annoying. I'm all over the place, man. Facebook.com slash Bloomhouse and The Real Rejects. And uh, I want to give a shout out to um, Shay. Shay's Shay. a great YouTuber. Love I Shay. love Shay. Love him. He makes wonderful fans. He's a hilarious dude. I could see Shay being in a relationship like this. Yeah. I could see I Shay being is. like a very dominant kind of manipulating an innocent girl into like some submissive relationship. It's just the Shay kind of personality I get. You should check out his channel and tell him that I said that. Yeah. Comment it to him that I said that I could see him being borderline domestic abusive boyfriend. I've always wanted to be spanked by Shay. Or like, you know, lightly flogged by Shay. It's just a vibe I, I get off of him. Fifty Shays of Grey or Fifty Shades of Shay. Where are you going? I couldn't stop turning my head. What? <laughs> Is that from the movie? No. <laughs>